Okay, so let's uh, do this first uh, short answer problem. It says the density of mercury, the only metal to exist as a liquid at room temperature, is 13.6 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the density in pounds per cubic inch? And then they give you these conversion factors here. Okay, so remember, the hard thing about this one is to remember when the cube is there, you got to do it three times. Okay, so I'm going to write this one out fully all the way across the board. Okay, you'll see how it's done. If you do it the long way, you'll never get it wrong. Okay, so 13.6 grams per centimeter cubed, like that. So, we wanted him to pounds per inches cubed. Okay, so how do we convert grams to pounds? We have a conversion vector up there, right? So, we can do that one directly. That one's nice. So, 454 grams to one pound. Okay? So now we're in pounds per cubic centimeter. But that's not what we want, right? We want it in pounds per cubic inch. So we're going to have to do another conversion. So cubic centimeters, well, is this cubic centimeters here? No, this is just regular centimeters, OK? Is this cubic inches here? No, it's just regular inches. So in order to get cubic inches from regular inches, we're going to have to times it by inch and then times it by an inch and that'll give us cubic inches okay so let's do that so on the top we want centimeters because we want to get rid of them right so 2.54 centimeters one inch okay that doesn't get rid of centimeters three times right so we're gonna have to do that two more times that's what i'm saying or cubic or cubic, right? But like I said, I wanted to do this one all the way out so people would see it, okay? okay. Like that, so that's the second one, right? And then we're going to do it one more time. Okay, so now let's cancel. So, centimeters one, two, three, right? Is that cubic centimeters? Right? Yes. So, we'll just cancel that with that, that, and that. We multiply inches times inches times inches. What do we get? Cubic inches. Cubic inches, okay? Cubic. So, all we got to do is multiply all the numerator stuff and then divide it by all the denominator stuff, okay? So, let's do that together. So, 13.6 times 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 okay and then divide that by 454 and you should get an answer and we want it to go to how many sig figs three because there's three sig figs here okay so when we do it I get 0.49 one pounds per inches cubed for the density of mercury. Okay. Any questions on that one? One. Yes. Does the significant figures in the conversions matter in the as So answer? does the significant figures in the conversions matter? Have we talked about that before? Do they matter then? No, they don't <laughs> matter. Okay, we have talked about them, yes, you were right. And Somebody else was right when they said no, they don't, uh, you don't want to use the significant figures for the conversions. Because if that were the case, how many significant figures? One. Yeah, just one. Everything would just have one, right? So, no, don't use them. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? That's a good question. 